Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow cause we gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. Because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you.
one more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod. Clem to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stay around. Hasta luego. There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. 
Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Ring a ding ding, Chom. Gotta get this done. Telling me how you got this number. No more than v, your number. What you waiting for? Heard you misplaced the convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. V, what Let's you waiting meet. for? Cut a deal. A deal. Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. V, what you waiting for? Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? <laughs> yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep, now. Now listen. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say?
I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. <laughs> nah. -uh. No what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. Mistake. Big mistake. Stop, you bitch! You're done! You're fucking done! You and everyone under your thumb! You hear that, fella? What you waiting for? <sighs> Don't know you. Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. plants though oh yeah they look damn well prepared don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory yeah, gear from the jack convoy gotta be must have been all over it like maggot you hear about their boss Royce Dex mentioned him <laughs> called him special well just me and us homes shit they expecting a whole Militech platoon? Got a bad feeling creeping up my sp anti personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. Got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Shit. Go 
goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. What you blowing? Eskif, you're as baby powder. Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Ups dorse and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip so intense it verges on psychosis. Corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Better? Now we can talk. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0-D12. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, this thing. Dynamic thermo-optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I'm talking to you! Fuck Brick, then. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. All right, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's who. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? I go, boy! Bring it, cocksuckers! out of here.
got the set, bot and controller. And let's go. Quicker the better. Let's get out of here. Dying for some fresh air. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
One fucker less!
That's how we do it!